This question comes to us from Bradford from Modesto, California. He's talking about the driver and the L to L. You know, again, this has kind of been focused on what we're hearing a lot on TV about rotation and how important rotation is. It is a speed producer, I will definitely, for sure. Uh, however, when you watch most all of these guys, there isn't one player. If you show me one player that does this, then I'll back off everything I'm doing. That swings up to the top and gets here, their arms against their chest, this is the relationship to their arms and their chest, and then from here, all they do is rotate So their arms stay there and all they do is rotate and hit the ball and keep rotating. There, there isn't one that does that. Every single one of them, from right here to right there, their arms are doing this relative to their center. These guys who rotate and get here and they're pinned and all of a sudden right here, all of a sudden their hips and their shoulders stop and their arms in the club go. So this whole lever system and how it works relative to my chest, if you come into the ball and you keep twisting and pulling your arms, you're going to live in right field and you're never going to hit it very far. A lot of these guys feel like they just turn back and rotate. But when you slow it down, at some point in time, this slows down and that accelerates. If it didn't, they wouldn't hit it very far. You don't hit it 300 yards going back here like this. I've not seen one player hit a ball like that where they just rotate down into it. I mean, I'd kill myself. I couldn't hit it anywhere. They all, regardless of what they do, at some point in time, even the big time rotators, all of a sudden it stops and what happens? All of a sudden, oh, they're doing all this and they get right here and all of a sudden, bam, their arms accelerate and take off. So you've got to learn that, in my opinion, first. Then you can start adding body rotation. If you can't catch the club up, because your arms have to go faster than your center. Nobody, nobody's arms go the same speed. There's Nobody hits it like this. Every single one of them, phew, their arms in the club, phew, accelerate and pass them unless they're hitting a little teeny wedge shot and they're holding the face off fine but not with a driver at least not what I'm seeing now if you can show me somebody that does that fine so working with your driver learning how to take your driver get your right hip out of the way get your wrist to hinge run the club face into the ball and rehinge your wrists and be able to do that. If you can't do that first and learn this, then probably that's probably not going to make you a whole lot better. I'm just a guessing. So again, learning this lever system because everybody does it. Nobody, nobody hits the ball and does this. Nobody if they're going to hit it any any distance unless they're just hitting a little teeny lob shot but that's not about distance that's face bounce getting the ball up in the air nobody throws a baseball where they go back like this and just twist their body and then lets the ball go and never lets their arm go faster than their shoulder nobody serves a tennis ball where they get right here and then all they do is take their shoulder and turn their shoulder and twist their body and hit it. They all hear and then what happens? Is this turning and moving? Sure it is. But there's, there's, your speed is coming more here. They all do it. How they initiate it and get their arms going is one thing, but then it's got to take off. It doesn't take off and this pulls, you're going to struggle ever hitting the ball very far.
be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.